and welcome to part two of the TurboSmart Ultimate Streetcar Competition. In part one, we took a look at the judging component of the competition. Now it's time to take a look at the performance component. Let's go. After the drive to Kudamundra and the judging, each car was given three attempts at the handling track we set up at Kudamundra Airport. It incorporates a long straight to let high horsepower cars stretch their legs, as well as tight corners and hard braking areas, testing a car's handling and braking compared to its acceleration quite well. Lance's Mad 35 had over 1600 wheel horsepower and certainly not set up for circuit and the stock brakes struggling to pull up multiple times after the amount of speed it puts on and his time reflected that with a 64.3 second lap. XR6s aren't exactly known for their handling and with a thousand wheel horsepower through an auto, Joe's car was fun but handling not exactly its forte but he managed to run a 62.78 second lap. A few laps back to back unfortunately found the limits of the stock FG pistons and Joe was out of the competition. Fourth in handling was Dennis from Grim Performance in the R32. It has plenty of gear underneath, but the torque from the barra means wheel spin is never far away and it's very hard to put it down. But lots of fun though. In third place was Mark's R35. Being a proven eight second car at over 160 miles per hour, it did well to keep up with the more nimble stuff and once scaled, he still scored 15.5 points out of 20.
just pipping Mark's R35 was Dion's Evo 5 from Fabtech. With sequential gearbox, I set up more focus towards handling, some nitrous to help get it onto boost quicker, some decent tyres, the owner's insanely good looks, and Dion pushing hard, he ripped out a 54.02 second lap and 16 points for handling. And the quickest car around the handling track was the mighty Audi RS3, wrecking everyone's lives and chopping the barra, as Jason pushed the car to the limit. He bested second place by nearly four seconds with a 50.17 second lap, getting the full 20 points for handling. With handling and judging done on day one, day two saw cars hit the drag strip to see what ET and mile per hour they could rip out. With 950 horsepower and a ton of torque, Dennis's XR32 was always going to be a struggle to get down the runway on the slippery airport surface. He managed an 11 flat and a best mile per hour of 138.46. Jason in the mighty Audi RS3 was next. Only minor mods, but all-wheel drive, dual clutch, launch control and good tyres meant it could use pretty much every bit of it. He ended up with a best ET of 10.4 and a best mile per hour of 136.78. Dion from Fabtech Global's Evo was next. Being on performance street tyres helped his lap time, but hindered his quarter mile time. So he whacked some drag radials on. Managed a best time of 10.281 and 142 miles per hour. As predicted, the R35s dominated the time boards. Mark's car isn't set up for drag with a low ride height, but was running 18 inch wheels with drag radials, the smallest that will fit over the brakes. Mark ripped out a 9.4 on his very first run at Cootamundra Airport. He then belted out three 9.3 second passes in a row at over 160 miles per hour, proving not just performance, but reliability and consistency.
Mark ended up with a 9.362 as his best pass, with 162.45 as the highest mile per hour. Simply mental performance for a car that looks this good and drives so well. But what could the big daddy of the field, the quickest and fastest R35 in the country, do down the runway? Lance's second pass made it the first eight second R35 at Cootamundra. Awesome, mate. Awesome. Awesome. Can't believe it. Um, well, we'll um, I'll fix the launch up and we'll keep going deeper in the eights, man. Where do you reckon you can end up? Um, oh, really, I'd probably an 8.5, I think. You know, there was a lot of wheel spin there. So it's, um, you know, I've just got to control first and second a bit more, but that felt slow. I, I did a 9.0 before and I thought it felt slower than that. So that was, um, I'm pretty happy with that, man. With the track nice and warm in the afternoon, Lance wanted to move up the GTR Challenge leaderboard his final run was an 8.779 at 177.17 miles per hour. This made him the fifth quickest GTR outright at Cootamundra and second fastest. Simply mental for a car that retains stock interior and exterior and is perfectly drivable. He scored 40 out of 40 points for the drag racing component and was so fast he scaled everyone else right down clawing his way back from the low scoring handling test to come out in second overall. This meant that Mark Saguna took a very convincing win in the R35, giving Precision Racing a 1-2 finish in the 2019 Turbo Smart Ultimate Streetcar. And this year's winner is Mark Saguna. Well done, mate, in the R35. How are you feeling? Uh, pretty wrapped, to be honest. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's what I came here for, and um, I'm happy that I took it out. So, yeah, I mean, thanks for everything, and you put on a good event here, so... Yeah, awesome. <laughs> look what we've got for you. Let's bring it over, Ellie. Guys, big round of applause, please. Let's get it in. Oh, look, hold it up. Oh, there we go. A <laughs> little bit more. Oh, got some champagne for you, mate, and a trophy. Well, there you have it. A 1-2 finish from Precision Racing with the R35 GTRs. Now, Lance's car was mind-blowingly fast, but Mark Saguna's R35 just did everything so well proof of how good these modern cars are and how good they can perform if you set them up correctly. Now every single one of the cars is worthy of mention because well they're all fun for different reasons and they all have their pros and cons that turn them into the car that the owner likes and one of the best things about the competition for me was getting to enjoy each car for the same reason that the owner does. Now we hope you enjoyed it too and if you do make sure you click the like and subscribe button, share it around on social media so we can make the 2020 Ultimate Streetcar even bigger and better. Have you got anything bigger on you? This is it, mate. I only want to my pants. <laughs>